Well, as you can see, we've moved the boat. This is in Bangor. We're in Belfast Abercorn Basin. The Titanic building is over there behind me. And there's a lot of work going on over there, so I apologise for that. Last week, we missed our first video deadline ever, I believe. Certainly in about three years. And uh, this is the story of what happened. Well... One of the uh, little jobs we've got to do is these lines have gone very green over the winter and it doesn't affect them in any way, it just makes them unpleasant to handle because they're a bit slimy. But So I'm just going to take them off. Uh, we normally put a, a stitch through the bowl in just to secure it. So it's not a big deal to take the stitch off, that's, that's it gone. And then all I have to do is make sure that I can get the line back through this pulley, or two pulleys. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach another line to it and just pull it through. And um, it's the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to get on with that. All I need for it is a splicing bag and a bit of uh, tape and it uh, should be good to go. So I'm going to get that done. And then these lines can go in the wash. I've got another one to do on the other side, so it's a bit of a nuisance, but yeah, <laughs> such is life. Yeah. Well, uh, one of our subscribers wanted to see how it all fitted in together. Um, and as you can see, it uh, goes up and down exactly the way we want it to do. And also, um, the bottom step does not wobble. That is why we put that little slither of wood in. Um, if we'd have not put that, taken out that little slither of wood, it would have wobbled. So it was worth doing just to make sure we had no wobbly step. Well, it's just... Warning, do not attempt this at home. What you're about to see is done by untrained amateurs and the results prove it. We highly recommend the use of professionals as we are never going through this agony again. I believe that you have some sage advice, some, some a top tip for uh, doing canopy covers. Yeah, don't bother. You know very well that I am willing to tackle anything and getting a new canopy cover does is expensive but it certainly isn't worth repairing them which is what I'm doing. You know I'm spending hours on it and it's still not right and so I'm afraid to say it's one of those things I'm going to recommend. Save. Save for Happy days, the tools going away. Yeah, I tell you now, it is boat is just so messy because of projects and stuff like that. But you know, oh, just let's get it all tidy. So, day 67 of the Cursing Fest. Yeah. yeah, like I say, it's just too hard. The fabrics are hard. It's just, it's a nightmare. So, if I'm doing it again, I just earn the money and buy it. <laughs> hey ho! We live and learn. Yeah, and as long as we're learning. You know, so we're going fine. to move on swiftly from this disaster zone to what we hope was a real success story, the Dyneema guardrails. Yes, uh, Bebby's going to do that while I carry on doing uh, sewing, but at least I'm out in the sunshine doing hand sewing, but you don't want to be doing hand sewing, sewing for whatever, it's too much. The side panels took a bit of a beating over the winter, but I'll tighten them up as well. I've done the guard lines and they're in fairly good order. We'll probably get the rest of this year out of them, then I think I'll probably replace them next year. They'll be three coming on to four years old by then, so a replacement I think is, is in order at that point. 
But what we've done is we've put, um, up here at the top, we've put um, amalgamating tape just to make sure that there's no rubbing where we went through the um, tops of the stanchions. Previous to this we had cloth tape on it and the cloth tape to be fair did very well but the UV just edit alive. So it's gone off, amalgamating tape's gone on, at least it's UV resistant and that's done. So the next job is to get the crud off the bottom of the hull. <laughs> there's not a lot but it's a boat. It doesn't move over winter. Well not over this winter it didn't, not with the weather we had. Uh, but the upshot is that um, I need to do that sort of out. The dinghy has been given a good clean using dinghy cleaner, so it is sparkling, I am pleased to say. And um, I will take my sparkling dinghy and I'll get into my wetsuit and I'll do all the stuff that needs doing as regards cleaning the hull. It doesn't look too bad, there's a few bits underneath, but um, it's just a big brush time and gets stuck in. We were thinking about getting a lift, but the lift in Bangor is broke at the minute. One of the wheels fell off or a wheel bearing seized up or something like that and they've had to send off for a part so uh, whatever it is whatever the cause there's no lift here in Bangor. Well it's our first bacon buddy and cup of tea outside in 2022. The weather has finally turned and I'm mightily glad we are of it too. Yeah and normality is returning. Uh, downstairs in the boat is still looking a mess but you know I can see progress and I can see normality with us soon. Hi love. Hello guys. Hello. 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 Repairing your binami cover, <laughs> but basically, uh, what we have is we have a lot of our connectors, um, the, the connect the way it was uh, attached to um, the boat. Um, all the fabric is ripped in that area and it's completely damaged. Um, so, I needed to replace the bottom. So where the needle is going through two bits of fabric plus uh, two bits of tape, uh, my machine is just about coping, and I do mean just. Um, but where um, the connectors are, you also need a little bit of plastic to reinforce that section. Not a hope. Uh, so I'm having to hand sew. So it's machine, hand sew machine and so it's just a nightmare so to uh, put these uh, little bits of plastic in I'm actually using a Gorilla Glue tape it's not the best it's um, rubbish in fact uh, but it does all right with the plastic to fabric but with the fabric to fabric it just it's not it's not good enough it need I need a different tape but so you don't have to sew through the horrible plastic then no I am sewing through the horrible plastic on the one edge right so I'm just sewing when I'm hand sewing it in basically that one edge is being hand sewn in and then the rest of it is just enough the glue in other news we want to thank the people who've um, uh, given us some money on the Kofi account uh, we bought a new hard drive um, for backups of all our videos that we've done and we also bought uh, a couple of chips um, to go in the cameras that we were given. Yes, the cameras came without chips but we didn't expect them to come with any memory cards in them so that wasn't a shock. No, it wasn't but the thing is we've now got uh, extra chips for those and we have uh, got a new backup device yeah. so, for all the videos so thank you very much. All right, so uh, that will help the video editing staff immensely. Mm -hmm. Uh, because although my laptop's got a, a couple of hundred gig on it, that drive there has got a couple of terabytes on it. So that's an enormous help. And obviously the memory chips for the cameras, we can't do anything without that. So with a bit of luck, we'll be able to get more cameras out, give you better views through the season. And it's our uh, aim to make even better videos for you. So thank you very, very much to everybody who very, very generously helped us with that. And we really appreciate it. And we hope that you do too. 
By the way, just for information, in case anyone's wondering, <laughs> this rather antique piece of kit is what all the editing happens on. This is Arthur. And we call him Arthur because he has a dent in his lid. So he's called Arthur Dent after the character from The Hitchhiker's Guide. But this rather beat up Dell Latitude laptop, which is now getting off for about 10 years old, is what we produce the videos on. And we run desktop Linux on it, thank God, because I'm think if we ran Windows on it, it would just grind to a halt instantly. But desktop Linux, it whizzes along quite happily. And uh, so in case people are wondering what we produce it on, we produce the video you're watching right now on a Dell Latitude with desktop Linux running Caden Live editing software. So now you're in the know. I'm up the mast and what I'm doing is I'm uh, can't really do it one-handed. <laughs> I'm taking the slugs out and I'm putting PTFE spray on them so that they're lobed so that when they go up and down the mast they've got little friction. And I'm also inspecting the mainsail for stitching or anything that needs attention. Um, animals that have been in there over the winter, birds. We've had a wasp nest on the solar panels so you just got to give everything a good look over. But it's a windless day so I thought I'd use it and why not? Well, um, when um, I was chatting to you yesterday, uh, Beverly suggested that uh, instead of putting the plastic right onto the edge, I put the plastic a little way away from the edge so that I could use the machine to sew um, basically the, the, side, the, the, the edging on. Well, that's what I'm doing at the moment, and it is at least working better. And I'll just have to make sure that I secure the plastic in with a little bit more than this Gorilla Glue. Uh, because Gorilla Glue is working, but at the end of the day, it's not adhering to the plastic. Right? The, it's adhering to the plastic brilliantly, but it's not adhering to the fabric very well. I mean, say, this is a domestic sewing machine. <laughs> it does very well but I think after this job it will be getting a service I think it will it deserves one well I got the um, upper two-thirds of the sail done I didn't get the lower third done because the wind was beginning to pick up and blow the sail out to uh, starboard so I did what I could when I had no wind um, the sail looks to be in good condition I was able to inspect most of it even in the sail bag there was a couple of little bits of straight bit but it was just slight unraveling on the edge of the cloth it wasn't the stitching um, we do have somewhere on the uh, very back edge near the out hall and we'll fix that with seal tape and if we pass by a seal loft somewhere we might bob in and get a seal maker to have a look at it and see how much a repair would be. At the end of the day if it's £100 to have the seal fixed it's a £2,000 seal. It's, it's a no brainer in that sort of arithmetic. You know, why, why let the seal destroy itself if you can keep it in good order? So for now I think the, uh, the primary engine of the boat will be fine and um, the secondary engine we have already serviced. We haven't done the diesel filters on it yet, but we'll we'll attend to that shortly. Maybe not today, but it'll get done. But things are in progress and we're getting ready. Act of commercial sabotage because I hate stupidity. Come on. Hiya. So we're just back from a night out, yeah? Yeah. We've just been to the supermarket. Yeah. And you've just bought the wrong washing powder, haven't you? No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Hi. Because that stuff's no good. Why not? It says on the top it's more concentrated, therefore it's useless. It says it on the top. More concentrated equals useless. They're even more concentrated. On the top. Take it back straight away. Sorry, now I get you. More concentrated equals, equals useless. We just had a night out and we're just preparing our gluten-free pudding here on the boat. Um, we're also going to indulge in a little snifter given to us by oh, the boat next door, not very much. And the boat on the other side is given us chocolate. So we are sorted. We got alcohol, we got chocolates. Uh, We've just been to Tom's Dining Rooms in Bangor, which we heartily endorse. We uh, think it's a wonderful place. 
Um, if you're here, the Bangla Indian restaurant on Main Street is also very good. We, we enjoyed our time there. And also the other place to use if you're here is Bosun Bob's. I cannot say enough good things about Robert. He has never been anything but helpful. So that's, if you come to Bangor, eat in Tom's, eat in the Bangla, get your stuff from Bosun Bob's. And we're going to have our pies, our custard, our whiskey, our coffee and our chocolate. I don't think we're going to be very capable tomorrow, but tomorrow the boat has to move. It's just the way it is. So how is Toyota? <laughs> okay. Our mas our master of the sewing coming along. <laughs> yeah, we've renamed our sewing machine Toyota. <laughs> but the thing is, Beverly just said, so or not so. There is no try. And I'm like, can't we have a bit more so, please? <laughs> have a little bit no so. Oh, days. Well, at least it's not a complete no so. It's not a complete no so, but I'd like more so than no so. But anyway. Well, it's a difficult fabric. The force is strong with it. I'm on the last panel. There's still more to do. But if I can get this last panel in, I will be so happy. It'll be like, oh, flip. What will you celebrate with? <sighs> well, it'll have to be a bit of whiskey because um, um, I can't have wine because we're so... We're, we're basically, we you managed you... to get... Um, we're, we're staying the one more night. I can't... I just can't deal with going out to, se to see... Um, so I'm going to get this done. OK, there's still more to do, but you know what? If I've got the sewing machine away, I'll be happy enough. And we just get up early tomorrow? Basically, yeah. I've just... My head's just in a spin. Tides, tides at 6am. Yeah, so we'll have until 12 to get into town. OK, so why are we talcompiding the Dodger? Do we want to have the nicest smelling Dodger in the marina? I just find that... Because this... Um, Plastic, it's just so sticky. I've put PTFE on on the fort, um, and, and I'm talking the um, the plastic just to sort of like take the the stickiness off. So you're it. using talc as dry lube. I am, I am using talc as a dry lube, but it's working. This last one, uh, as always, the last panel is work going in better. Um, Maybe you're an expert by now. I'm certainly. I, I keep on just saying to myself, I'm saving a thousand pounds. I'm saving a thousand pounds because I'll tell you now. Oh, it is not an easy job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the day has come. Yeah, I have to be honest, I am so apprehensive. Um, Beverly has got the logbook out, and the last entry we had was from last year. It was like six months ago. It's ridiculous. Um, so, um, but I'm also apprehensive because I'm in the comfort zone here. You know, I'm comfortable. I know what I'm doing. I know what to expect. Whereas going on the adventure, anything can happen. And, you know, that's the truth of the matter. Anything can happen. I'm a bit apprehensive too. Uh-huh, why are you on Bed? Same reason you are. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> Took a bit of doing, I'll be honest. <laughs> I've almost forgotten how to do the log format. Fortunately for us, our little template has got numbered sections. So <laughs> one, two, three. So today's logbook is filled in. You notice 2022 at the top. It's our start of our 2022 season. Um, We've only got one set of tides because we're staying inside Belfast Lock, so that's straightforward. We've got the weather in for now in the following 24 because we always write it down. And we've got our log entries ready. So we're ready to go, but that doesn't quell the apprehension really. Um, like Gainer said, you know, we've been sitting still for more or less six months. Before Christmas we were earning money and doing things, so there was no sailing. And then after Christmas it was just bang, 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 storm after storm after storm, non-stop for about three months really. Um, the most exciting movement was the fuel dock to keep the to keep the heating on. So today's the day. Um, we're going to go out. It looks like a northeasterly. Um, the water looks a wee bit choppy at this time of day. 
because we saw gusts up to force nine yesterday. And um, I think it's going to be a bit of a wind on the starboard quarter and maybe just roll the Jenny out and just take an easy run down to Belfast. It's just get our sea legs back really and uh, hope that everything goes smoothly into plan. <laughs>